all right guys what is up it is your boy will back with another video today hope you guys are doing good in this video i'll be talking about sofi technologies ticker symbol s-o-f-i ticker symbol s-o-f-i i'll be giving you guys all new levels for sofi like i said i will update you guys about every two days or so on the sofi position we'll go over new levels new buying levels new resistance levels the last defense level did break okay so that's very crucial that we want to watch out for We'll also go over the five day, five minute chart to get a closer look at price action. And then we'll go back over to the 90 day, 30 minute chart to put all the new levels on there. We'll also go over a little back data. Um, some analysts have been upgrading so far. So we'll go over that and then let's get into it. So make sure you guys smash that like button. OK, let's get the video over 100 likes and subscribe. If you are new, I'll go ahead and give you three seconds. Doom, 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 doom. Don't, okay you should have done that if you appreciate the videos i appreciate you guys make sure you watch the video before this one on tesla okay key key levels on tesla massive buying level that i will be buying on monday if we get that buying pressure confirmation so make sure you watch that tesla video right before this one let's get into it so all old levels right here okay we do have a massive buying level above here but since price i think is going to be falling we'll go ahead and move that okay we had an old resistance level as well that i was looking at when price was down here if price did come back up i was watching that level around 1470 for some resistance not going to get up there i think we are a little more bearish now okay i'll explain why i think we're more bearish also it's going to take that off last defense level was around 1450. i said if this breaks and does not retest this day that will be bearish okay as you can tell the stock kind of looked a little weaker today and it does look weaker okay so let's go ahead and remove that as well that is already broke we do have a buying level down here around twelve dollars and seventy five cents that i am still watching okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave that um we're gonna leave that buying level on there i'm not gonna move it what i'm gonna do let's see i will yeah, I'll leave that level on there because I think we'll still hit some buying pressure once we get down there. And then the new levels that I will add, I'll go ahead and give it to y'all. Let's go ahead and go over to the back data real quick on the revisions, and then we'll come back to the chart. All right, so here we go with a little back data, a little updates, revisions um, on some of the analysts. We'll go over them a little quick. So let's get into it. Okay, latest trading station, SoFi Technologies, close around 1340. And we'll point to a previous day. This was a change narrower than SP 500, which is about 41.41% per, uh, loss on the day. Heading in today, shares of the company that lost about 12%. This was on a uh, Friday, lost about 12% over the past month. Okay, so not too big of a drop over the past month. So that is good compared to some other stocks that are over 20%. Outpacing the business service sectors lost 12.79% and lagging SP 500 2.36%. Investors will be hoping for strength from SoFi Technologies as it approaches its next earnings release. Very, very true. Any recent changes? And before the earnings release, I'll make a video on it to uh, teach you guys how we're trying to play it because I do see a pattern on there. So uh, remind me of that in the comment section. Just write earnings play so uh, you can remind me. Okay. Now, any recent changes to analyst estimates for SoFi should also be noted by investors. Okay. These revisions help to show the ever changing nature of the near term business trends. With this in mind, we can consider positive estimate revisions a sign of optimism about the company's business outlook. Our research shows that the estimate changes are directly correlated with near-term stock prices. We developed the SAC strength to capitalize on this phenomenon. Our system takes the estimate changes into account and delivers a clear, actionable rating model. Ranging from number one, strong buy, to number five, strong sell, the system has proven outside all the track record of our performance with number one stocks returning 25%, okay, blah, blah, blah. SoFlight is holding a staff rates of three okay which means hold okay i'm buying okay they're saying hold but i am buying but i still like it they're not saying sell or anything like that technology service industry part of the business service sector this industry currently has a sex of 192 which puts it in the bottom 25 percent of all 205 cents industries okay the gauge is strength by industry by measuring okay what do we need to know i think that was the main thing that i wanted to know uh show you guys uh, of their stock rating that is a hold and also on their earnings that would be a big one and also on the percentage that they lost over the past month which is not big at all only 12 percent over the past month i think that's very good considering uh, some other stocks okay so that is the back data 
This video is sponsored by me, AllPortraysGo.com. Make sure you come sign up for the buy and sell signals. We also have the VIP buy and sell signals. Okay, VIP, you do, you do get both rooms. The biggest difference is the regular signals is regular signals, entries, exits, options, stuff like that. VIP, you get the same. It's just VIP. I actually teach you how to trade in VIP. So that is the biggest difference. And VIP, you also get two monthly live teaching uh, Zooms a month. We're doing four actually this month. And you also get 24-7 access to the stock market options crash course right here. Okay, the crash course does come in a VIP. And if you want the stock market crash course by itself, you can always use Will 50 off to take off 50 to get the crash course, okay? Also, Will Knowledge merch, last day to buy the two merches. Then I'll be releasing all new merch, okay? I'll be releasing probably like 10 to 15 items. It'll be a lot of items, okay? I know a lot of people are waiting for that on emails. So I will be releasing a whole new batch of merch uh, probably on Monday or Tuesday, it'll be on the site, okay? So make sure you come to winlodge.com, put in your email so you can be the first to know when that new merch drops. So let's go ahead and go over to the data of the chart. Okay, so now that we went over a little bit of the revisions, a little bit of back data, like I said, I'll try to update you guys around two days or so if there's any news or anything like that and all new levels. So buying level 1275, we're going to leave that here. I do think we are more bearish now than bullish on SoFi. Like I told you guys, I did sell half the position up here because I felt that was a high for um, shorter term and we were going to get some pullback. So I did so half, took that profit and now it's pulling back, which is good. Okay. Because I still have that half that I want to put in. I haven't put that in yet because it has not showed pressure to go higher yet. Okay. We always want to wait for that confirmation. So now that I think we're going to get some pullback, this is a main level I'm looking at around $12.75 for that buying pressure. Okay. We could also might find some support around 1340 okay we might see some support around 1340 let me turn that level blue that i'm watching out for okay so these are two levels on the downside that i'm currently watching okay for a resistance level just in case price comes higher is right around 14 1460 is a level i'll be watching out for some resistance so let's put that on there so these three levels in this current range that we are in on SoFi are the levels that I'm watching for long-term buying and short-term buying at this 1275. This is why I'm looking to buy longer term and shorter term shares. Okay. Longer term, I'll probably just hold because I'm building, I want to build a bigger position. So I don't plan on selling any more longer term shares. I plan on just holding those for the years to come. So I will be buying here around 1275 for longer term shares. But for the shorter term shares, when I buy at uh, 1275, because you guys know I like to trade it and I also like to hold long term. So the money works multiple ways. So when I buy right here around 1275, I'll be looking for at least 10 percent. Now, 10 percent is right around that 14 range. OK, so once we hit that 14 range, I'll be looking to sell half of that shorter term position. And then the other half, once we get to about 1460 to 15 for about a 16% gain. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll put a red level at 14. It'll be light. Okay. Cause I'll be looking to sell half of the shorter term shares at that 14 to get about a 10% gain and then letting the rest run to about that 1460. That's why I say, make sure you join the buy and sell signals group. We do have original, we do have VIP. Whichever one fits you best. VIP is more of me teaching you guys how to trade. So that is the biggest difference. So make sure you join that. We have a chat room, okay? And in the chat room, I confirm these levels for you guys. I tell you where we're looking to exit, if we're looking to exit half here, if we're looking to hold it. Just kind of guide you through, okay? So make sure you join that. Link in the description is also pinned in the comments, okay? So main levels I'm watching, shorter term, longer term, exit half, shorter term exit shorter term as well longer term i'll be holding i don't think i'll be exiting uh, uh longer term shares i'll be holding those but also watch this 1340 as support because it could pull down here find support and then start going up to the resistance levels if it does that then this 1340 will be a buying level okay so depending on how monday acts and tuesday like i said i'll be updating you guys about every two days that'll kind of clarify if this is support or not if it breaks we're looking at 1275 if it kind of holds then I'll turn to a buying level and these exits will go up a little higher. Probably won't exit half here. Probably just take the whole position out at that 1460 if we bought if we bought the 1340 because that'll be about a 9-10% gain. Okay. So that's how I'm kind of planning it. Hope you guys like this update video. 
make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. Always remember, no trade invitation to buy or sell anything. This is for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see out here in the video. And I'll catch you guys in that next one.